Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be talking about some of my amps and my favorite things about them. First up is my favorite amp, my Ironheart 120 by Laney. This thing kills it live, in studio, I mean you name it. It has two separate channels for distortion and a clean channel as well. Those separate channels you can use different volumes, different boost gains, and different EQs, so it's perfect for live. This thing glows bright red, which looks really cool and draws a lot of attention. Plus it has wattage control and dynamics, so you can play with just the same power at low volumes. Next up we have my Marshall JCM2000. This thing brings its A game every time when it comes to classic rock or vintage tones. When you crank it up, this thing really starts to break up and you hear those tubes really come through. Great for recording and killer for live too. Now onto my Line 6. This is a great little practice amp. I bring it to jam sessions all the time. Great sounds for the money. You can get tons of different tones with the flex tone. And it's great for DI recording for those late night sessions and not wanting to disturb the neighbors. Another great amp for the money is, believe it or not, a Marshall. This is an MG100 HDFX, great for DI recording, plus you can play along with your favorite songs right through the amp. It came with a matching 412 cabinet, just like my Laney. And if I want to get a beefier tone, sometimes I'll plug it into my Mesa. I do that sometimes for variation with my Laney too. Here we have my Yamaha HS8. Obviously these aren't a guitar amp, but I listen back to my guitar tones and am able to really dial in my sound with these. They work great for mixing and mastering. I get a lot of questions about that, and these have an 8 inch woofer and a tweeter. Plus they allow me to hear my mixes and playing very clearly on playback so I can fix any mistakes I'm making. Lastly I have my Carbon R600 which I use for recording bass, and this 18 inch woofer plus a 9 band EQ and a built in compressor and gate really makes this thing pack a punch without compromising clarity.